Hey everybody, welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Ivy Hartman. Their event features over 11,000 herb plants and your very own herb specialist. And I want to help you help me welcome back Webster Groves Herb Society's Beth Maddenly and Barbara Renshaw. Sorry, Barb, Barb Renshaw. You know, whatever. As long as I don't call you, hey, you. <laughs> or late for dinner. <laughs> This is an amazing herb sale. You guys have been doing this annual spring herb sale for the Webster Groves Herb Society for 40 years. Mm -hmm. um, you guys anticipate earning, raising what, about $10,000? Hopefully. Hopefully. About At least that, yes. How many people <laughs> attend? You know, mm. they, they, there's a constant stream from, well, they get there at 7, 7.30, and until 12.30, 1 o'clock, there is a constant stream of people coming through the doors. Mind you, if you missed it earlier, the herb sale is April 20th, starts at 8.30 in the morning. So if you get there <laughs> at 7 or 7.30, you can stand in line and wait, but you're going to have lots of great opportunities mm -hmm. for entertainment and some educational opportunities as well. Something new this year, though, is personal shoppers. Tell us more right. about that. All right, so we have the individuals that are going to be dedicated to helping you select the herbs that you need for your garden. They can help you select herbs for a theme garden, which we'll have examples there. Um, you know, if you have a problem area, we'll help you with that. Whatever you need, we will walk you through it. I would think um, with 31 different types of basil there, <laughs> I would probably need a personal shopper to tell me <laughs> how I might use these different mm -hmm. forms of basil. Right, right. Yeah, and, and different basils are good for different things. Some are great for pesto, some are great for Thai food. Uh, some are just beautiful, and you might want to just grow them for their beauty. Now, this all goes to a great cause, Barb. Tell us more about where the money raised goes. We have scholarships for people studying in the plant sciences, and um, we, we want to get more young people interested in the plant sciences because we need to be he a healthier generation, and we, ne we need people to study this and learn about plants and how to continue to grow them and have benefits for society in general. As you point out earlier in our interview that our herbs have a lot of benefits outside of just mm -hmm. um, seasoning our food. What are some of the benefits of herbs? Um, well, for one thing, um, some herbs help fight the sugar benefit or not benefit, the sugar problem that we have nowadays. Mm -hmm. Young kids uh, eat a lot of junk food and they don't eat healthy. If you introduce herbs into their food, it spices it up, it gives it more flavor, and, and it helps them to be interested in eating better. And as I understand it, herbs can actually help out your vegetable garden as well. Is they that right, can. Beth? They okay. can. Basil is a great one to grow with your tomatoes. It benefits the tomatoes. There's the pyrethium plants, which we have the Robinson's giant um, painted daisy, which is from the pyrethium family. It helps repel all oh, fleas and things of that nature. Um, mint is another good one for repelling fleas. So mint and basil, uh, rosemary is another one. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can rub your fingers on it and kind of identify those right. herbs pretty easily. Yeah. Uh, even a novice like me could probably do that. But if I pick up something a little more complicated, tell me more about these benchmark tags that are available. So this year we're go we are making customized benchmark cards. Okay. And they will be there with each plant that we have at the sale. And they will tell you everything from the soil, the water, the sun requirements, all the way up to what they're used for and how to harvest them. Perfect. That really is dummy proof. <laughs> All right. So you can help out by helping fund the scholarships and some of the trips to some of the nature reserves in Missouri Botanical Garden by attending and buying at the Spring Herb Plant Sale through the Webster Groves Herb Society on Saturday, April 20th. That starts at 8.30, goes till 2. But if you're smart, you'll get there early so you can get in and get what you want. That's all happening at First Congregational Church of Webster Groves at the corner of Lockwood and Elm. It's free to get in and parking is free on a first come first as available basis. A lot of information online at wgherbs.org, including more about the event itself, um, as well as uh, all their bench tag. I mean, you can get all kinds of stuff on their website, so make sure you check it out. Thank you both for coming. Thank, Thank you. you. Good luck at the sale, absolutely. Coming up on STL TV Live, we'll be touring beautiful homes in downtown St. Louis. That's right, so don't go away. You won't want to miss out. <laughs>